American hopefuls who are tuning in on the other side of the globe. Liquid to defend here, and Zywit with a P250 in his hands has already been peppered at range ever so slightly. OC more than happy to take that duel, and a liege in lower dark, assisted by Yakinda on cat with those dual Berettas. The 1x bet odds now favoring Liquid. Interestingly enough, I was coming into this, especially as they were the lowest seeded of our top four teams didn't top their group unlike vitality you would have expected they were the underdog but obviously winning game one and the way they've played in this playoffs has changed some people's minds certainly yakinder has dupree we'll see if he has other ideas as he goes down toward a liege dualies below yakinder will spot first that'll take some aggro he'll hold the angle and then liege will be able to swing when he wants to it works out perfectly they each get a kill very efficiently as well apex towards on then goes down to oc and my oh my it's just saiwu one on five bomb Never mind that, it might be dropped, but this is going to come to kills either way. And Elise with Dooley's getting three, all right. Clean, very, very clean. And Yakinda with another opener. We might have to do a series-long tally for Yakinda's openers, not just that Inferno where he was eight and three. He was an absolute monster over there and kicks things off as Apex is going to be feeling quite flat about that. Just walking into these fights, getting obliterated, absolutely deleted. Nobody put their body on the line for the trades. And when they did, there was a contingency in place. OC takes down Apex, swinging top mid and lower dark with the Julie's 30 bullets of doom. So we get back into play. Apex with his signature in-game leader scout for Vitality. He's been doing this now for the full better part of a year and a half. And he will find a tag. Leash. This time he's from Cat taking a fight towards lower and might want to consider his chances. Drops back as two players from Liquid start to initiate upper dark with a push now. Apex. Oh <laughs> my god. That's going to be so frustrating. He's like, all right, I'm just coming over to join you. Oh, what? There's your Kinder in there already? They got Nash back. Good shot from Zywu, but it doesn't matter. Yeki's already got two, so they'll go toward middle knowing that if there was two pushed in tunnels, there's probably a bit of a gap. But that gap now covered by smoke means Elysia's M4 can't have the range, but somehow still finds Spinx, that poor man. Shots in. Yekinder from that far oh, with an on, MP9. Man. That's just foolish. Four kills for him. Look at the money he has already. 68.50 yeah. at the end of round two. Hey, uh, OC, you want an ult? You can have one next round. Uh, this round, they're on eco. So we're, we're going to be holding that one off for you for a round or two. But this was one kill on a four spike. Like Vitality didn't even make this close at all. And this is the rude shock. Apex is mid-air as he spots him. It's like, this is the moment I know I ducked up. And uh, yeah, he got taken out of the equation quite easily. As Vitality now will operate with a couple of Deagles, a couple of P250s. It's not too shabby of an investment. It's still somewhat dangerous, but we need to see some bangers. And it's a tag. Yeah, OC already taking a shot into Apex. He goes down to 22. This is good confidence. I know it's only against pistols, but I like the fact he's willing to take these type of jewels. Oh, I want to see OC in that form. That nade bounced through to the second doorway. Spinks thought he was playing it safe and still took 50 damage. Elise dinks and downed. It's Magist that's going to remove him. He's got more company, though, pushing through the tunnels and getting on top of him. Yukinder's going to go over the top <laughs> quite literally. Zywu and all of that took out... Uh, sorry, Osi and all of that took out Zywu. We've got Spinks and it's low HP on Apex. That's covered off by Yukinder and it's now 3 nothing in pretty convincing fashion so far. And he even picked up the M4 there. Right, I, I understand they win the round. It seems pretty clean, pretty tidy, all things considered, but he even grabs the A4 from Elysia's corpse. Now, they're not going to get OC into an AWP. He's going to function here with a scamp. So the baby orb, out to play against Zywu's big green and the four AK-47s equipped by the rest of the Vitality members. What's the tone going to be? They didn't have a good long spawn to try and force their way out there in the early stages. Looks like a three-man opener towards the B tunnels. Zywu and Spinks operate a little bit later here. Now, I imagine this to be a slow round for Vitality, feeling out if there's any aggression coming through from Liquid. We can see that they started 4A to make sure those long rushes would be negated immediately. Met in kind if they did decide to rush through. And now they can transition Yakinda back. Elysia's there to bodyguard him. And everything's looking good. So Liquid have dealt with long. They were strong there. Now they fortify back over towards the B bomb center. Even gambling for a B play here. Elysia and Yakinda going to join now. Mage is still holding off the angle, knowing that they've been aggressive inside of tunnels in every round, pretty much. So he's not confident to leave that open because Liquid's going to go on it. They are going to go on it again. Yukinder's already threw this and forward to the small, but Majiska's read that. And with him down, finally an opening for Vitality. 
See if Nitro can do anything about it over toward Long. He smoked and flashed. Looks like they're gonna check it. The corner smoke means they should. <gasps> Spink saw it, but he was already committed to turning back. And as he swings out, damage dealt. Oh, he couldn't do anything either. Good play by Apex to cover off the return frag. The trade potential. And Elise and Naf backing away. Don't even have clear access to their former bomb site. Majiska snuck in there on the lurk. Well handled here. That opening kill really set everything. Naf is going to try and find this frag. They know that Naf's the B holder, so the Majesty is worried about tunnels, see if he's coming back in from some type of a push. And this time, it'll be Vitality to post their first and a clean round for them. So very good stuff, but considering the way that the first three rounds panned out for Liquid, there'll be no dramas in the buy department, and they won't have to worry about the scout in play. And you know what else? They're actually bringing out double orcs immediately here. Yakinda and OC to wield those bad boys. It's great from Magiskiri really gave them the leg up. Once you take your kinder out, he's thinking, hey, this, is a, this is a little bit right. What's going on over here? The walk out long, they isolate those two fights. Nitro quite frustrated. He did do some damage. And is that a leash with a jump scare? I think a little bit of one, yep. Some intense reactions either way. So the first offer, your kinder goes toward the mid doors. It'll now rotate off toward B and OC will take back mid by going up catwalk. So they've timed this accordingly and allowed them to put a bit of pressure toward long before they did shuffle. He's seeking up a dark again here, Yakidna. This is quite wild that they're continuing with so much pressure here. With an AWP this time, though, surely it doesn't go all the way in. Yeah, this is a nice angle because some players like to set up nades on that pillar at the deep side, and you might be able to catch an arm or a leg for a key piece of information, but it's the same Vitality default. Three through the tunnels, then they establish mid-doors control. Zywo and Spinks are floating back of Catwalk. They can help set up utility, also listening for long. OC not flashed off. Trying to mask the flash, though, with the shot. They come around the corner. That time, it will force him back. Went for the anticipating shot inwardly. This is the bounce smoke. And we're just going to peek on this again. And Yekinder, so perfectly positioned, catches him out. You have to wonder if that's just a position Yekinder likes to play or if when watching the Lurk Smoke from Majiski knows that it is going to be that deep and he can play in front of it. Either way, that's an opener again. And kind of condemned to executing towards A with 35 seconds on the clock. Just been stalled and blocked. They're going to have to try a mid to B now instead. So through the doors they go. Kender's op still watches tunnels. That means it's the rifle of Naf. That'll be the one to get the read of the fact they're working in that direction. OC's trying to fire through blindly. Naf blinded. Has to be so careful. They're already in the sight. Yekinder, he's going to get taken down. If they're not careful, Naf's going to save him. They get toward the closet, though. And he elevates oh. himself but misses the shot. And now the B site is in possession. And with five seconds, one second to spare, they will put the bomb down. He plays through tunnels. Well, he's going to go aggressive on this. Dupree knows as well that the rotation has to be coming over. Sees them. He's put himself in an awkward situation. Oh. But he makes no mistake on it. And OC's the last alive in a one-on-two. Has to save. That what a, a turnaround. Fight. That was massive work on the side right there. It felt way too good. The fact that there was so much utility left over for Liquid, that short smoke comes in at 35 seconds, the B door smoke when they initiate the mid to B. You feel like they've already done enough just with the utility alone, but maybe they thought the same thing. Stop focusing on those kills and it falls apart. Super well done to take that back. OC's at least going to get Dupree down, so one more kill with his op. But Zaiwu not going to go that direction. Could go to mid doors. Jumps across. OC takes the chance. Shot not going to hit. Okay. Hugely recovered from Vitality, though. Massive round, and it was just a response to that short smoke. At that point, I'm thinking, are they maybe going to consider a save? They've considered the opening death. They have no upper tunnels presence, but they make that one work. And that's when the AWP of Yakinda comes back to bite them in the ass. He's out of position. He was not known to be an AWPer, so hitting shots in that type of an angle not going to be easy for him. And no timeout called. Thought Liquid might want to discuss their options behind OC's AWP here, but let's see what he can find. It's a standard setup. Naf, Yakinda towards B, Elige, Nitro, and OC take the long control. Now, you might want to allow OC to peek through these doors and find a fight against the defaulting Sphinx, but there's a couple of players in. The flash is great. Pass oh, down, baby. man. It's going to be easy. Dupree got tagged and all that. May not matter, though. Oh, careful not to shoot your teammate in the back of the head. Majisk is ready now. So he is countering Yekinder. This is going to be an interesting battle of tug of war between the tunnel position. And now that 2v5 comes back to be absolutely haunting because the money is long gone on the liquid side. It's a 3-3 game. Yeah, and this is going to be key here. If they're able to stall Yekinder's tunnel aggression out. Oh, you see the head shot there from Apex. They were unable to do so in the early stages of Inferno, and that was plaguing Vitality, right? They were just losing banana control and losing B time and time again. And he, you don't want to be losing Upper Dark to just Yakinda's idle pushes. So uh, being able to stall him out in several rounds here in the first six rounds of play is a very good sign. 
They could, however, off the back of that uh, eco with the saved or will be able to buy themselves. And OC's gone into the big green without any armor. So this is a glass cannon with a smoke. There's also a Famous for Nitro here. Not a single Diffuse Kit in play. So a difficult round here for Liquid. Vitality have a chance to start really whirring into action. And it's four players straight towards the upper tunnels. It might be a bit quicker here. Nah, ready for it. Back of the site, off angle this time. Not you, Kinder. He saw them. I don't think he was spotted in return because they were already looking toward the doorway, but now the Molotov on top. There's nowhere he can go. Far too quick to get on top of it. And the solo hold it be this time with Yekender trying to change things up has actually allowed them to get in very comfortably and very uncomfortably. He gets tagged through the door down to 38, so has to be extremely careful of his positioning, and Majisk is going to take him down all the way with another shot. He tries luck again. I think he jumped back up and just got hipped at the post there, so being very risky with that. But so is Apex. The pace change, the call towards the B site works out perfectly. Raf gets overrun, nothing he can do. The timing working against him, even with that defensive smoke. And now hunting, name of the game. OC on Cat, he cannot unscope here, at least audibly. Legion Nitro towards Long in the hunt. You can see they've fanned out across the map here. Dupree and Magiska looking to jump up short. There you go, Dupree. Second time's the charm as the flash of the ready. Magiska will jump, throw it, it flicks around the corner, but so does OC. Nah, not fully blind on that one. Try to go for a second one, doesn't matter. Smoke from Long to give him comfort and positional hold, but that gives Apex a tell. Doesn't matter, Elyse has that shot. Is there gonna be more? No, not fast enough to get a secondary one in that position. So, it's Vitality with four in a row to take the lead. And they picked up that secondary AWP, so they can run the Akinda OC double AWP setup again, if that's what they were looking for. Other rifles can be dropped across here to get everybody out. And this is just Magus just elevating himself. Sees, well, I, I guess it's not the traces, is it? But he, he sees the smoke coming through and is able to identify exactly where those bullets are. And a timeout called. So this will be the first for Team Liquid. Yep, the, the 2v5 is gonna haunt them a lot in this if they can't start getting back into it because you should have had a 4-2, maybe even 5-2 game at this point. I'm curious what they want to do with the double op setup because Yukinda has the good long spawn. If they wanted to send him to the long corner to go for a heads up pick against the likes of Zaiwu, who on the other side of things, let me just double check, he doesn't have a great long spawn. So it's unlikely to see that heads up play. But the thing is, Liquid doesn't know that. And OC has a better spawn for mid. So how are they going to deploy these double orbs? Apparently both going across here. Yukinda pushing to lower. They've just smoked off their cover. Yukinda into lower, has the support of a liege. Similar to the pistol round, at least for a leash here. Naf and OC, so they've been conditioned to want to really fight this upper tunnel's presence. It's been part of the game plan out the gates, and now they're doing it with multiple members. A missed hinge smoke, a rarity. Mm. Well, not if you watched yesterday's series. There's a lot of missed smokes yesterday. Nerves, weren't they, at an all-time high? Oh my god, Cloud9 was missing everything. Quaking in their boots, the young guns. So Zaiwu standing with the boost, drops off it, couldn't get anything above that smoke in middle. They identified they missed the pin smoke and tried to take advantage of it. Kinder all the way forward of the door is going to pop out from underpass. They can't get any short control with this setup. Like, it's impossible for Vitality to get any short control. So Nitro's well been hung out to dry here. Good luck. Self-smoke. They're spraying into it. He's going to try and peek wide of it, knowing Sphinx is running out of ammo. He's got Dupree. That's impressive because Dupree was actually there off the aggro. And he goes up on the elevated curb. He does further damage on his Sphinx. 12 HP for he and Apex, but it's Zywu that gets the Kinder. And it's still going to be the advantage, therefore, for Vitality. Not long. OC gets the shot back. Apex just went down to 12 HP from a teammate's molly. Oh, they're going back. They're going back. They think Majisk has space for them. Oh. That's going to cut them out. You're right, 12 HP, and he's gone. So Spinks will pick up the bomb, but he too could be caught in this. Naf's a little bit late, and that means OC's on his own right now. Naf's going to have to really make a decision here. If he went back the other direction, knowing that the bomb was gone, he could actually cut them off in the tunnels, but I think he's too slow to realize this. I think now he sees the bomb's gone. He's going to get on the horse, but too little too late. So they're inside the site, and Majisk is going to actually be looking down toward the middle. Easy kill on OC, and Naf realizes it's all on him to pull this one back. I give this a crack here, trying to deny the plant. The molly forward, sure. Got a bit of util, has a kit. Naf could play for this. <sighs> it's tough. AWP's out. Wow. And that's, that's a mystery. They got the one kill. Bomb went down, but rather than Naf going into the tunnels to cut them off, he thought he could chase it. Yeah, that right there is a little bit quizzical indeed. And 
I think the problem, well, it's been a key, is just with these late B plays, right? Uh, he's able to get all that real estate again. It's been punishing in terms of saves. You saw Elise with the jump scare earlier. This time around, OC was acknowledging the chance, and then he tucks in because hey, I don't think he's expecting it to be that B side. Unfortunately for him, it just continues to look for information, pushes out the window. So this is that molly that got thrown back pit. You just saw it there in that highlight where Nitro gets that one kill. Burnt Apex up, made that kill for Elise very easy. But uh, all in all, this was the kill that mattered the most in the two on two, and the round confirmed. So Vitality trying to really separate themselves now. It is only a two round lead. Loss bonus is in play because it's been five consecutive here. And well, Liquid will have double orbs again, sure. But uh, the game plan isn't working right now. They're being beaten every time they try these maneuvers. So I will again looking for position above the smoke in middle, which this time is CT, so don't be confused to think that that's some sort of missed smoke again on pin, but it does lock Dupree and they're going to boost him instead. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about this. That CT smoke, of course, you're going to expect the lower presence, but Vitality took it very quickly, and I believe that's because Apex lobbed an early molly down towards the mid door. So if anybody was going to be there, they would have taken the damage, could have, you know, slowed their progression down. So they were confident, at least the Danes, as they were coming through, that nobody should be home. Can't miss that one, can you? from that close. Dupree just drops it with the underhand onto the pin. Oh, sees AWP. But the Molotov's gonna force him off 75. He'll fall all the way back toward the car. And that will force Elige to get into a better supporting position. So bomb tossed over to Apex. You presume that's because Zaiwu wants to go for an opener with this AWP. Elise tries to counter it off. A little bit slow. That segregates Dupree. OC's able to take advantage of that. Find the kill. He'll smoke himself off of the ramp as well. That means he doesn't have the headshot position, but he still is able to stay alive and be a problem. 38 seconds on the take for Vitality. And Zaiwu is waiting on the edge of that smoke to protect Apex because he's gone for the short plant. And the retake's not from short. But there's no one there. So Liquid's got the long way back into this site. Apex comes out lurking. He's gonna get OC for free here shortly. And he might follow that up. The leash could shot and return. Nitro does have Sphinx. So it is all on Zywu. Smoke, anything, please push him backwards. That's the only thing they can hope for because the bomb is still planted for him. Oh. Great shot from Naf. All right, well, they have those orps again. They're gonna get the upgrades away from the farmers into the AKs. And that looked dangerous for moments right there. But knowing you have Zywu as the bodyguard, you can see Apex emboldened to get that plant, even searching for that kill. A bit unfortunate he doesn't get the double up. Vitality will concede and Liquid will find their fourth, but only just. There was a couple of key fights that if they went the other way, Vitality was still in that round, especially that long duel. If that long duel wasn't one out there and they were able to at least have one player come through and take the fight up towards the A site, it could have been a completely different round. But Apex here does his best. Elysia's trade is extremely important. And this is the one from NAF. They're just playing on top of the box to find Zywu. Still enough money for the buy here. So both teams fully strapped again. We get underway for round 10. Oof. A flick and a miss there from Zaiwu on the cross, and Dupree with some pace out the doors. Dupree indeed with some pace. Already over toward the dumpster, but lit on fire. Oh my goodness, Majisk somehow got a sniff of Nitro when he turned back in that smoke, and Zaiwu comes in not blinded at all. Third man in, and takes out Elise. So this is another great opening, and he's gonna get more than that. Oh, uh, okay, he does do damage. Not the kill, though. How do you get OC out of here? I think you fight like hell. You get a double op setup. The kidder wants to try and get Zai. Oh my god, that's right. a heck of a shot. That's so hard to hit. Just that tiny amount. I guess you sit that close, that's why. It's probably twice as big for him. Yeah, the pixels take up half his vision here, but OC will get out, so this is actually massive. The key is Zaiwu. So in terms of people who are competent to hold the AWP on the Vitality side of things, maybe you'll see Sphinx do it a little bit. Apex is the one we often see wielding a scout, but there's a big difference. As Naf has taken a bit of an info play alongside of OC. They've got mid control. Naf is locking them in towards long now. This is pretty much confirmed. If Yukinda continues to push up a B, they'll know that it has to be that A play. But I think OC might have to give them the sight here. OC waiting. He has given them position, but he's still going to try and get a few more kills. Oh my god. Drive by. Naf needs to get on the pace again. Yukinder's way back outside of CT and Sphinx is waiting. So Naf's lurks have been countered twice now. Good find for Yukinder, but he's just trying to stay alive at this point. They're going to run down Catwalk to try and pinch him off. It's Dupree that's the closest. This is a full hunt, and it's done. Sphinx with that shot as well. 6-4 now for Vitality.
Ooh, did they get the all back? Yeah, they did. Apex picked it up just in time right there. And it wouldn't have been an issue. They just got so much cash at the moment. He's going to buy back into another AK here. But on the other side, Ash is in an okay position. They're going to take the second time out here. And look at this. I just opened up the rounds here. The one from the top of A side was the most impressive. At least trying to play around the smokes. This was a great shot from Yakindo Short. But it was all in vain, really. Not a whole lot of damage done other than that. The timeout. It's coming to its conclusion. Nitro will have the biggest emission of an MP9. Is OC going to glass cannon? He has the exact amount of money for an AWP. And I think they need to pick it up here just to at least command a little bit of respect. He leaned towards the tunnels, the constant aggression, the plays through lower. Stopped working. And now Vitality are playing a bit more of a standard game. Now, they also have quite a few good long spawns again here if they'd like to go in for an all-in one more time. But as they drop on down towards Suicide, that's a no-no. Going to go back into the three tunnels spread. Apex will be back a cat this time. So might be a different look because we've normally seen Spinks with Zywoo over towards the A side, the catwalk side. I feel like this would be more of a direct call right now. And the response from Liquid after they lost long was to start 4A. So Elise is in CT. Yakinda is also away from the pack. Nitro and OC aggressing towards the long doors here. But if it's a mid to be call, it's all on NAF. Smoke out. It's going to cover off those flames, but make things awkward for Dupree. Very awkward when he hears an off shot whistle by him. That's from his teammate, though, in Zywu. Well, they've just called one smoke mid doors and one smoke B, which should at least give them the idea that if there are two B defenders, they're out of smokes. You kinder, however, he gets across safely. He has one left over. Yeah, that's key. I mean, I guess with dropping utility, that's harder to predict these days, but on Dust2, it's not like you're really stacking one spot like that. So, yeah. It is probably a pretty safe call. Ajisk again, trying to win that angle. It really is his battle. And Yukender hasn't been over here for a while because he's been losing that battle. They've been trying to change it up. Watch out for the scaffold play. Elish not spotted, does get one, and not a whole lot of damage. In fact, no damage onto Zywu, despite that he looked like he was dead on him, but the pillar oh. in the way. That is stunning from Ajisk. Naf down, Yukinder's out. Vitality are absolutely slaughtering Liquid right now on these entries. And man, oh man, Liquid's gonna have to back off this one again. Nitro will try to get exits with this MP9 because money is certainly something that can be farmed up. He does, and not only that, he can upgrade for free. He's gonna use the nade to try and push that gun out. And Aww. sorry, sir, all you got was a flash, but maybe you could try that. Well, we lost 100 bucks in that one. 300 for the nade, only 200 for the flash. <laughs> and it looks a little bit, right? It was as well. Where did the nade blow up? That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, he's close enough. Get on over the wall, mate. Pick it up. I think like, I don't want to. I don't want to peek this. I'm so scared. Well, I guess the, e the bomb will easy. blow it. The bomb will blow it his way, right? Yeah, but he's just. Yeah, I guess he doesn't know that. But just because getting closer to though, right? About to see if this. Watch the bomb's gonna put it too far away now. It's gonna go up the ramp even. Watch. What? what? That is the, f the heaviest gun in the world. Get it. Get it. There we go. I got it. Okay. Well, I thought it was, it was bloody Thor's hammer there for a moment. Okay. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Bit of a lead now being accrued by Vitality. This is looking fantastic compared to map one of Inferno, but this is what you wanted to see. Dominant map one from Liquid, their map choice. And then coming out the gates on uh, their map choice of Dust2 here, Vitality, they're looking great. Now you see Yakinda here, he gets pipped by Zywu. Yakinda threw that smoke. He was trying to be cheeky with it. He actually threw it in the uh, corner of the doorway to try and create what I would assume was a one way. Uh, okay, Yakinda does find a gun under all this. It is a Deagle. I was wondering he's out of spawn with a USP and a leash. Up catwalk, so a dud hand by Apex. Can only get one and done. The fight is mid and shoes. OC fighting from short to from nade towards lower. And Dupree will get one back, but he's low for the troubles. Zywu looking again with the AWP to try and get another pick. The openings have been sustained on so many occasions. You can just still has 11 kills in this. But they are bested by the 12 of Majisk, who seems to be getting the better impact. They're starting to throw guns away as well on the, C or the T side so that the CTs can't get anything from this. Double push up catwalk with Naf trying to peek for Agro. And they've mistimed oh, wow. it. Wow. Because it's Naf who comes through. Nitro doubles, and now suddenly it's all on Dupree. Now he knows exactly where two, I, maybe even three, because there was a double peek. OC did show. So the death cam may have revealed where they all are. So we'll see how he can work with this to divide and conquer, perhaps, as he even hears OC jumping away. I think he spotted him there. You can see the defensive smoke comes out immediately. And the new Dupree was lower because he got a kill there earlier in the round. So Naf is going to constrict this and make sure he can't head back towards the upper tunnels. Dupree 
Is he trying to save? Yeah, he's heading back towards T-Spawn. So there's no real way back unless he scopes in around this corner and, and takes down Naf. It'll be quite the shot. Naf should be able to deal with him here. Hasn't spotted the head. Dupree behind oh, the car in the tiniest of gap. If he creeps a little bit further to the right, should be able to see Naf here. But the round is confirmed and Liquid with that crunch, that three-man crunch, that was fantastic work. Oh, he's just walked under the crosshair here. Naf, you are very, very lucky indeed. Sneaky boy. Yeah, well, I think they were looking for that AWP. Going to be there to retain. So maybe an AK for his troubles. Naf will find uh, an upgrade. There it is. And they're back on the board here, Liquid. So if you take a look at their rounds, they had the three consecutive. It was the pistol that was clean, literally all five staying alive. Then the follow-up too, they only lost two casualties in those rounds, but it's really changed since then. The gun rounds have been looking good for Vitality. And it's been spotty rounds as the remainder. So they'll get a fifth. But another timeout going to be called in this game, a tactical again. As Vitality want to try and recover this, it's their first tactical timeout used. And they know that the money is going to be tight after this round. So this does give Liquid a lifeline back in to potentially make this a much closer half. Remember, it was 10-5 on Inferno in favor of Liquid at halftime. Vitality took the last round before the half. So this one looking like it's at the best case for Vitality, going to be at least an equal in return. There's no long spawns here other than Apex, so it's unlikely to see them go for an all-in long. The, the three through de upper dark default's been working. I, I think that that should continue to be the play here. And actually, looks like all five are going to gravitate over after an Xbox smoke. This is either going to be pacey again, which has already worked, or they could just do one of these B pops that have been in fashion during EPL. Kinder down below, again being aggressive. He can hear them. They're baiting it out, and they saw him. And they're going to go, and they're going to find him because he didn't know who to fire at. Dupree only tagged down to 46. Long push, though. Elise just coming back up catwalk. Okay, he's thought better of it. He was actually sliding toward that smoke. He may have been able to catch them off, but I don't think he wants to give away the elite too early on this. He's waiting for Nav to give a call at B. They're inside of the site. There was OC as well in middle, and again, so much damage, but no kills coming through. It's only a one-man advantage, though, and Nitro, there it is, rotates around to get the nade in position. Now they'll capitalize on that damage because Nitro's doubled. He's gotten Sphinx. He doesn't have a smoke left over, though, because he already threw his defensively, so he has to run from the flames, but it's into the pain. They'll run on the Vitality side, 7-6. response time was fantastic again the opening kill towards lower dark liquid it's key it's a key part of the game plan that's where they want to be fighting vitality we've seen them do it time and time again it crops up here one more and the kinder goes down first but that elige push gave them so much info right it gave them so much info here the response time of nitro nitro is the long anchor yep. he was the one on the b bomb site here to try and clean up that mess and he does fantastically well here one more up for zywe but it's going to be the last orb available if they don't win this round Look at the confidence. Like, Yakinda sitting at the mid doors, crashed with an M4, looking for a fight against an AWP suicide. Like, that is wild. And then you've got OC looking towards back account. This frees Yakinda up to be a little bit more flirtatious here. Nade in. Bit deep. Doesn't do anything to anyone on the stairwell. This makes sense, right? If they send, tend to have so many bodies fighting lower and short, and they're rotating so quickly, Vitality have established the fact that, hey, look, they, they can't be too many bodies long, and they've had success when they've come laid out long, so Nitro will see the flash, takes a little bit of contact there, and oof, needs to be very careful about his peaks. I would trained with the big green. They're just going to slink up behind this, use the scope as cover, and they can just execute swiftly. It is literally just Nitro here at the moment. Shot to the box, no success. There's no one's waiting on the other side of it. It's the far box. Nitro wants to play. Again, the damage is there. Spink got two. Whoa. Spink in a third. What an entry from Spinks. Incredible wow. stuff from him. Seven HP, but it doesn't matter. Job done. That is wild. One of those kills was an OC, right? Who had the AWP? Yep. Uh, fair enough. That is stylish from Spinks, though. I'm sure we'll catch that on the replay. Now Naf and Yakinda just need to save for the final round of play. That is a massive moment. Apex through, even checks behind the door, but Yukinder's gonna get that kill at least to get an AK. They should hunt him, already spamming it. He's picked up a second smoke, so he's able to cover both of his angles, and that will allow him to run. A shot like Forrest Gump, as he does so, toward B. And it should be a save, so this will go 8-6, and Liquid with limited income, but two guns. I say that with bated breath, although it looks like they're backing off the chase now. Will be able to force into the next round. 
Yeah, and uh, if we just take a look here, in that first map, the opening kills were really favored to Yakinda, thus Liquid. This time around, it's a bit more of an even spread. Majiska has been getting in the action. Yakinda, of course, we've mentioned his name plenty. Spinks just there. Let's see if we can get this one in the replay. So he's ahead of the, the smoke wall, peers out. This is the first shot onto Elise, who just threw that flash to initiate Nitro. Jesus, he doesn't hit this, does he? That is That's insane. Nuts. Yeah, it was one up, one down, and he hit both. And then look at that. What a great replay. It just shows you his crosshair was in the right place every single time. They're ready to react to all of that fantastic round from Spinks, the newest addition to Vitality, showing up here when they need him to secure the half lead. It's like the battle of the, the entries, right? I mean, Majisk is countering Yakinda right now, so fair enough. He's had a lot of the opening kills in this half, but you look at Yakinda and Spinks being the two new players on the respective rosters. Yakinda again struggling to get that aggression calculated correctly, and he's going to fall once more. Sphinx this time, though. Nitro, good response. Able to push out, get information, find his eighth kill, and knock him down. Okay. Well, again, this mid clamp. Not going in the favor of Team Liquid early, but it's the mid to late where they found a lot of success. Elise transitions across the doors, will help out Naf here, and they could go for an upper dark push. Now, you wouldn't be too ready for that if you're Vitality. You've had a lower push, you've had a long push. More pushes available here. As they're starting to regather, and Osi's going to make it towards the long corner. This could be fantastic here. Back toward the door, then, Majisk. Osi's watching it. Good flash. Nearly shot in to get it right because Osi didn't fire at the first target, but Zaiwu did end up right in that crosshair. He was just quicker to pull the trigger. Dupree, patience. Mike Kettleege, they're looking for a response again, Liquid. And I think that this is well read for Vitality. I think they're well aware of the fact that each time they get a kill, there's going to be a response on the map, so they're just waiting for those angles now. It's all on a Nitro. 9-6, looking like our halftime scoreline. So, phenomenal start from Vitality. Good response to that which they faced on Inferno. But there was, you have to say, a few rounds potentially that got away from Liquid in this. Specifically, you go back to that two versus five. Yeah, you brought that up, and it has actually haunted them quite a lot here. This would be a consolation kill here for Nitro, but the bomb already getting to that halfway gone part. I think it's just click for him that uh, it is the last round, so I might want to get over there. But yeah, Team Liquid with a few opportunities here to make this half theirs. Vitality are the ones to walk away with the lead. Nine to six, we've got a break coming up, and then we'll conclude map number two after this. Don't go anywhere. Liquid have looked excellent here on Overpass. And Elise, oh my god, he just oh. executes them. They had the advantage. They had Team Liquid right where they wanted them. Flashbang in, and they try and pop out on the back of it. The Liege opening it up. Go on, bud. There it is, number four. to get real cool over here towards their round. Doesn't work out, but there's Elise. You said you wanted to see him. T3000 on the map. You've seen a lot of him. That's stunning from Elise. That's the big dog you want.
just go down there. And now the spray, the murder box. Great response from the opening map to now from Vitality, taking a 9-6 lead despite losing the pistol and the subsequent three-round start and lead that Liquid had. It was a five versus two in the B site that certainly brought them back into it. It was a good read from Majisk to force an adjustment out of Yekinder, and more importantly as well, it was sustained picks in the mid-round. You have to give a lot of credit to Spinks, especially for the three-round entry, or three-kill entry he had. So things stacking up for them. If they can win this pistol, we might be on for a 1-1 series scoreline, but Liquid might have other plans as they start this pistol with four players already out long. Yeah, and one of the interesting factors is here, we, we do see teams use long a lot, but they already have Yakinda in towards lower dark. So if there was going to be a response as soon as Spinks takes contact, Yakinda's in a position to potentially deal with that. They will want to show a little bit of leg to Spinks on the top of a site right now. A jiggle as a unit. Actually, they step wide. Job done. Nitro. Pushed on down to one point of health here. Wants to keep himself alive. Liege is continuing to duel with the P250 at range. And actually, Yakinda has completely given up tunnels now and is rotating all the way back over. Trying to get shots out. Nitro's got to be careful. Lines up that smoke, but then backs off. Says, uh uh, I ain't standing there. Don't let him come around the corner. He's only got one HP. Dupree and Spinks on the platform to work off of each other on this. And Dupree takes damage, actually, despite being the one to try and go for the fast jiggle. And they're going to back this off. So they have forced to reconsider uh, out of Liquid. Forced them to reposition back toward middle. I think this is the better decision. Liquid aim mapping against USPs like that. They don't have the weapon advantage here. Uh, at least now they're in a unit. Wow, that is quite the shot from Yakinda. That's going to open things up. Started the first pistol with the opening kill as well. How do you not hit Nitro? He's on one HP. That's going to cost them. But just was not clean or efficient. That means Naf comes through and gets a trade. Zaiwu trying to get aggressive in the B tunnels, knowing that they're trying to split. And Sphinx can see this, but he can't find headshots. Oh. May not matter. He falls inside of the smoke and gets that one as well. And Zaiwu through the doors to help it. And they pinch and they pull and Liquid falls. That's the two superstars, Sphinx and Zaiwu, with a whole chunk of impact right there. You're going to be happy with that. You can see Magis getting fired up. Yelling, trying to get the lads into this one. And that was a massive so shot from Yukinda there to open up the piece. I can't believe Nitro still got the smoke perfectly placed towards CT Small while dodging all of those shots. And this was the prong of upper tunnels removed by Zai, where he just pounces, then oof, back turned. Leash goes down, and so does the round. So 10 to 6 into the double digits now. And the Glocks and the Deagle is all Liquid have to boast here. So we should be calling this one 11. Second straight Pro League final for Spinks as well. Remember, he was playing in the final against FaZe with Entz in Dusseldorf, as it were, for season 15. So he's been in this situation before, but unfortunately last time didn't come out with the trophy. So no doubt that's why he'll be motivated to try and step this one further forward. Zywoo shots over top of the heads. That's just going to hold him in position. Good shot, OC, but Dupree puts him down to 10 HP. So this one should be done. It should be 11-6 now for Vitality. I think OC is going to have to be a key part of this comeback here, right, uh, with the T side AWP, which uh, again is available. We've already seen him go for a few glass cannons on that CT side. We've spoken about the fact that, look, we don't expect him to be at the same level of Zaiwu, who's the absolute best player in ESL Pro League for Season 16 so far before we enter into the Grand Final. Uh, but we, we do need him to be able to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, at least getting them the space and the territory that an Orpa should be able to find you. But they'll be operating with five AK-47s here in gun round number one. Into looking to scale late. He's going to use their mid-door smoke against them. Now, the jump over the top from Dupree, he might get himself a light bit of utility here. He's seen something that he likes to spam forward. But this is early mid-control, right? They have this in a minute 40 seconds. They're not worried about lower tunnels. They completely have mid. They can jump up short. And actually, Vitality are gambling that this would be a B finish. Dupree, Apex, and Magisk now reside on the B bomb site. They block the upper tunnels again. Sphinx is turtled towards long. 
and Zaiwu is on the A-Ramp. So the luxury of having these two superstars is you can leave them up to their own devices. Too soon? No, no, that's fine. I, I got what you were going with. They've definitely wanted their own device. Flash through, Spink sees that one coming. He drops down further inside of the pit. Zaiwu's gonna counter that with his own. I don't blind only one of them though. If they're up against the wall, it didn't go far enough, so Spinks isn't gonna pe peek onto it. And he makes no mistake on the shot. Nitro down. Spinks up to 12 kills now. Starting to really come into this in the last few rounds, including that of the last half, yeah. but it's Liquid that are better positioned right now with two kills on AKs. He can do it a liege. Now slow the pace because they've got long, they've got cat, and it's just CT they want to worry about. Dupree backing up middle. See if he wants to try and challenge this or not, but it looks like a save might be the call, even though it's not the best of weapons. They could afford to push with the FAMAS. They could definitely send Apex going with the MP9. I think we just have to reflect to the Outsiders match, and then we know that there is probably no way that they're going to consider going for this. Good point. If you guys it is becoming more and more the meta. Well, look, it, I think the Outsiders Vitality one was uh, the extreme. The extreme of saving, right? The... the by the book, Counter-Strike, they're taking your toys home and playing again in the next round type of uh, methodology really being tweaked, turned up to 11, as it were. And uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody go and watch that match. So just let's hope this one doesn't pan out in the same fashion. I just think the nature of the way Liquid play Counter-Strike, there are going to be some quicker rounds in the play here, so Vitality might not be able to save consistently. And now we have a four-round game. But this is a good one here, the trade from Nitro. Leash comes through, scoops up Spinks, the pressure applied. That's the thing, in that type of position, if Spinks can get two, then maybe job done, but uh, Zai was still going to go down like that, right? He was trying to assist and call out a position. Yakinda took the space, took the kill, and they took the round. Now an AWP for Zaiwu, single-handedly defending long in the early stages of this. What's up down inside of the long cave? Elise will fall back off of that. Nitro still waiting at middle. And you've also got a bit of a presence inside the B tunnels. Naturally, Yukinder is there at the lower side of it with Naf watching up above. No push in yet. But just can do pre. You've got your former Astralis duo on that side of the map. AKA the liquid no go zone. I think uh, it was called Once Upon a Time. But this is very slow stuff here. No real openers for Vitality. They haven't taken any risks. The biggest setup here is with Sphinx and Apex. And we're getting flash forward. Sphinx has a look. You'll see a whole lot. And now they can rejig the setup. Zywu was on the long corner for the majority of this round. So they might have an idea that it's looking pretty clear. But they've just flashed forward, made a sound cue. Sphinx is on the corner here and Debris is starting to burn. So this is the fight. Sphinx has flashed forward again. He's kind of just looking for information with this MP9 and hasn't found anything just yet. But the rotation coming over towards A. Naf sees that though, so what's the call? Because they haven't overcommitted yet at long. 43 seconds. Totally have the time to That's rotate nice. back. Bomb with him. I, I think this is going to go back. I think they are going to call this back. Naf's already called the rotation. They've lost one on Catwalk. Uh, you, all right, fair enough. They're going to keep pushing for it. Naf's gone though. So they are going to rotate it, but it's late. They lose two on Catwalk, and now they've realized it as well. Immediately, Dupree can hear them inside the middle and says, Whoa, hang on, I got to get back over there. Pump the brakes here, boys. And they better get some support onto him sooner. They're going to lose the inside of the site. Good entry. Nitro up and over, but the reverse doors, as it is now, allows Apex and Sphinx to get there just in time. And look how detached the leash is. He's in T spawn during all of this. That is probably one of the uh, scrappier rounds you're going to see from Team Liquid. The calling I, I fell off. They dropped back from long. I think they were worried about that AWP peppering them from the top of site right there, but it said they walk into it towards I, I short. Think, I think that they had a decent take on long because, like you said, Spinks didn't have the information, but Naf saw two players go by the door and went, whoa, 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 boys, get back over here. And I think it was just discombobulated from there on. Yeah, for sure. And they're just walking. And this is at like 35 seconds in the clock towards that AWP. Then with 17 seconds, this is their entering into B. They do a good job of dealing with that, but there's no smoke down towards the doors. It makes it very easy to munch them at range. And... It's a round back for Vitality here. Warp shot for OC rings through, but not true, as I wish still stands on the other side. One way for a liege. Uh, he's out of there. Again, another slow default spread. Nothing too exciting here. Kinder down toward the mid doors again. Flash over. He keeps his eyes firmly fixed on that. Opening, but it's now shrouded in cloud. 
can see this little mind game right here. Dupree's position, if Yakinda was just to jump up the Xbox, there's a high chance Dupree catches him as he is jumping up towards Cat. So you can see them being stalled out and, and both kind of being pushed back. So crisscross smoke, without the criss, just the cross here. So no CT smoke just yet. But it applies a bit of pressure and at least forces them both back in towards the B-bomb site. So if this was Team Liquid's goal, they've gotten away with it, but B is still very fortified, especially considering Zywoo's here. Apex Magic's on the side and Sphinx again. He's boosted on the blue bin towards Long this time round. He's going to walk in as Zywoo, really? Yeah, that's uh, going to be pretty easy for Zywoo. No utility to move him. Now there's a Molotov. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe he should have done that a minute ago because Zywoo has a shooting gallery. Oh, he's going to pull one back, but he's about to have a problem as... Oh, I say that. Nitro nearly made it work, but Dupree closed lines both, and it's now 13 for Vitality. This is good. If both of these maps were the comfort zones of both these teams, they're showing exactly why. Dominant form. It's looking very, very good here for Vitality now that we've made it onto the turf of Dust 2. And then as we move forward through this series, hope the maps get closer and closer, and then we can start seeing some 30 rounds, some hopeful overtimes where both teams are truly locking horns. But uh, this is Liquid now having to stomach a bit of an eco. They're working with two flashes and a smoke, a couple of upgraded pistols, not a single set of Kevlar or head armor available here. OC's looking to flash them out the long doors and Zywit with the incendiary in his hand will get away. Defensive flash of his own and he's backed right off. So at least he can communicate that there is a bit of presence. The cavalry is on the way and Raph and Yukinder are the next port of call to try for some space over towards mid. But I, I think if you're Liquid, you need to take a timeout. You need to have a chat about the approach right now. We're just chasing. Run now, run, run! He nearly gets baited into Yukinder. That was kind of the plan on that, I guess, was the hopeful opt optimism based on the unfortunate circumstance. But now it's going to be just Nitro with a Glock. And I don't think he'll go far with that one. It's 14-7. Okay, well, uh, might have eidetic score lines here in back-to-back -back maps. So, interested to, to see as we move forward in the series, we still have uh, in the order of, I'll make sure I get it right for everybody, Mirage up next is the third, Overpass as the fourth, and Vertigo as the fifth. You can see it top right-hand side of your screen, the team's permavans. Vitality gets rid of Ancient, Liquid gets rid of Nuke, and that's how we ended up in the turf we're on right now. No T-sided orb available here, so the... Scope Supremacy will stay with Zaiwu and the Vitality Camp now. And Dupree with a bit of aggression here. He's just trundled up Catwalk extremely early. And Yukinda, is he considering this? Well, apparently so, but Dupree is as well. That's the point man, and the tunnel's down and speaks with the spray at range. It's definitely finished off by Apex here. Yeah, Liquid have no response right now at all. Again, they go down two. And their entry man gone with it. Well, Magist has Naf. OC's on 14 as well. He's looked solid again today, which is important because the group stages, we've touched on it a lot, were by far from an acceptable performance, I think, even by his standards. Let alone the overly harsh, critical ones on the oh. internet. Elish, good entry, though. He's come back through. Naf's been quiet in this game, but... Yeah, there's definitely some positive signs across the board in terms of individual prowess. It's just the fact that right now, Vitality are controlling the map. Emphatically, and Elyse gets removed. Saiwu with two, and it's going to be 15 in map point. He said no response there from Team Liquid. I think no respect was the round from Vitality right there. Just aggressive, just taking the fights, taking the space, winning out very, very easily there. And uh, this is the thing with the best of five. They're feeling each other out in the early stages for sure, but the, the fact of the matter is that both of these are blowouts. Like two 16-7s, these are dominant performance wow, both, hang on. both teams. It's not 16-7 yet, Chad. I don't think I'm going to jinx her. Scout no, two Galils so. and two AKs with light U2. This is Vitality's round to lose. Let's see if OC can say anything about that with the scout as he tries to find a cross early on. Not going to happen, but Zywoo's got a leash. Good shot with the AWP. No mistake on that one. He's looked sharp. 18 kills for Zywoo. I say he's looked sharp. He leads the way now. In fact, passing that of Majisk, who is the uh, first half leader for Vitality. And the no respect comes into play again. They already have full tunnels. There's nobody watching it. There's multiple players down towards the mid doors. Nobody's looking. Nitro's looking cat. Two of them are looking mid. Hey, guys. Uh, Majisk here. You know, you got to worry about me. Uh, I'm in the server. So silence there for back of the head. Apex down sure, but the kills are going to keep coming the way of Vitality. If Majisk could have converted another there. He looked good for it. Half with a double, though. How are they going to get past Sphinx here, Matt? with a hope and a prayer. They're not gonna look that way, which means he's got the first one for free. They need a perfect trade. He's repositioned to the right. Smoke instead for Naf. Patience and tapping. Whoa. He's gonna push it. That's okay. not expected, but I like it from Naf. Needs an ace to win out this round though. It's now a one on two for him. 
Massive gap right now. If he hightails it, right, he has no way to know this, but if he hightails it all the way to long, just runs the entire way, there's a chance they could rotate back in time, sure. His bigger issue if he goes down mid, Dupree might start to consider sure and peer on over. Zawu is still trained over towards the window right now. The clock is his enemy as well. 27 seconds on the clock. He might be able to walk up silently, but they're coming back to address this. Zawu might be here at the perfect time. It has spotted him now, and now if you need to run. He's going to try jumping up. Nearly gave Dupree the last bullet he needed. 7 HP. He's almost so, so going to try and limit Zaiwu that nade. My god, they knew the situation. But... 16-7 indeed, so you didn't jinx it, Chad. And we have a dead level series, not only in maps, but in terms of rounds one and lost. Both teams sitting even, which means we go into map three with it all to play for. But before we do that... We have to consider so many possibilities here, and it's gonna be, of course, the fact that the Ops led the way, the Kinder went quiet, even when he got the opening picks this time, Chad, didn't exactly lead to rounds like it has in the rest of the